Okay, so we're looking at gaseous exchange. This is happening in the alveoli of our lungs. This is one alveoli, so we call it an alveolus. This red part is representing the blood capillary. Remember, alveoli are covered in blood capillaries. This is actually the pulmonary blood capillary. Now, when we breathe air into our lungs, when we inhale, the air travels through our lungs and eventually it ends up in the alveolus, in the alveoli. In that air, there's about 20% oxygen. And this causes there to be a high partial pressure of oxygen inside the alveoli. So about 20% of the air we breathe in is oxygen, causing there to be a high partial pressure of oxygen in the alveoli. Now, the blood capillary, this blood is coming from the body, from all the cells in the body. And those cells in the body have been respiring and they have been using up oxygen, which means that inside the blood capillary, there is a low partial pressure of oxygen. And so thanks to diffusion, the oxygen diffuses from the alveoli, where there's a high partial pressure of oxygen, into the blood capillary. So that's all thanks to diffusion. And we're moving from a high partial pressure to a low partial pressure. In this case, oxygen moves from the alveoli to the blood capillary. Now the opposite happens with carbon dioxide. This blood that is coming from the body cells has a high partial pressure of carbon dioxide because during that respiration, carbon dioxide has been produced. In the inhaled air, there is a very low amount of carbon dioxide, approximately 0.04%. So there's a low partial pressure of carbon dioxide inside the alveoli. Therefore, thanks to diffusion, the opposite happens. The carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood capillary to the alveoli, and then it is exhaled back through the lungs. Okay, so to summarize gaseous exchange, Gases, like oxygen and carbon dioxide, move from a high to low partial pressure. This is down a concentration gradient, and they do this through diffusion. So let's start with oxygen. Oxygen's partial pressure is higher in the lungs, in the alveoli, than in the pulmonary blood capillary. Therefore, the oxygen gas moves from the lungs, the alveoli, to the pulmonary capillaries via diffusion. Carbon dioxide does the opposite. The carbon dioxide partial pressure is higher in the pulmonary capillary than in the lungs. This is because the blood coming from the body where respiration has taken place has been producing that carbon dioxide as a waste product. So therefore the carbon dioxide moves from the pulmonary capillary to the lungs, the alveoli and then is exhaled. We have some adaptations that help to make this gaseous exchange happen at a faster rate and to be more efficient. For instance, the capillary and the alveoli walls are one cell thick. That helps to increase the rate of diffusion. And also the alveoli have a really big surface area. They're covered in all those capillaries and that also increases the rate of diffusion for gaseous exchange.